Welcome to UC San Diego's beautiful campus, home of the 26th annual Pres Day Invite. I'm Adam Restad, reporting for Sky Magazine and their 2013 college tour, brought to you by Spin Ultimate. Let's get straight to the action. Arizona started with a sloppy first half in their opener against Virginia Tech. But persistent defense of Arizona weakened the already tiring cross-continent contenders. Arizona's deep game just couldn't be stopped in the second half, as handlers found tall receiver after tall receiver. And plays like this greatest by Stephen Lynn stifled even Virginia Tech's best defensive efforts. Arizona, despite a lead, kept their playbook fresh and ran a snake in the grass to capture yet another break. And finally, Captain Sean Hamm found the end zone for this game winner. Arizona closed out their pool easily. Minnesota squared off against national contender Cal in their second game of the day. Cal sat in the driver's seat under the work of handlers like Andy Smith and defenseman Andrew Olson. Minnesota lived by their deep game all day and finally worked their way out of a one-break trail. A miscue by Cal on Universe Point could have sealed the win, but instead gives Minnesota one more chance. Sub-Zero Greg's Aronson shakes the boots off of his defender and then releases this bomb for the easy dish and win for Minnesota as time ran out. Close calls were Colorado's method of operation on day one. UC San Diego and Vermont would give games too close for comfort. Miscues and throwaways, as well as gutsy plays, allowed UCSD to stay in control in their match against Mumford. But high energy plays like this Callahan kept Mumford in every match. Colorado would finish the day 4 0. Despite the rising popularity of trick shot videos, teams seemed unable to hit their own field. A theme of day one was out of bounds pulls. Take this beauty by Santa Barbara. Overall, the fourth seeded Santa Barbara would finish fourth in their pool after a universe point loss to Cal Davis. This would relegate them to the lower brackets. Davis showed strong defensive efforts, and Santa Barbara just couldn't get on the same page. While Santa Barbara's efforts never flagged, Davis, a team looking determined, would win their pool 4-0. Sunday play saw power pool matchups, with the top two teams of each advancing to the quarterfinals. Minnesota walked through their power pool, crushing Santa Cruz 15-3 and Virginia Tech 15-8. Arizona also handled Brown and Las Positas in a similar fashion. Colorado would once again trail an opponent as they faced a stronger looking Washington team. Led by Duncan Lin and a host of young athletic Sun Dodgers like Khalif El Salam and Tian Chuan Yin. Puck turns and tight defense would mean a lot of chances for breaks on both sides, but Colorado showed the poise under pressure. Despite this great read by Julian Peterson of Washington, Colorado would once again not be denied. They would storm back with two breaks to take the game from Washington, 13 to 12. Cal, coming off a surprise loss to a determined Cincinnati, put all their hopes in their match against regional rival Davis. Davis would stay strong and go on to win 14 to 12. Quarterfinals were a walk for Arizona, Colorado, and Minnesota as they breezed into semifinal slots. Brown would mount a comeback after halftime against Minnesota, bringing Brownie emotion to within one against Grey Duck. Brown, a team determined to hang on, would battle for points, but the Minnesota defense was too much and they would eventually fall short, 9-15 against the Minnesota squad. Washington, again determined to make an identity for themselves, would battle Cal Davis. With never more than two points separating the teams, it would be a fight for the finish. Washington battled up to a lead of 12-11 with the game capped at 13, but the dogs would win on a Washington drop and a quick conversion. Davis closing out the Colorado final meant they would face Minnesota in the semis. The semis opened with Minnesota battling Cal Davis. Davis came out swinging like they belonged in the finals of this tournament, and they traded points with the Grey Duck squad. But as soon as Minnesota started hitting their stride, they started pulling away. Davis seemed to generate the Minnesota turnovers, but their defensive lines just couldn't punch it in. Josh Klain made two huge defensive plays that positioned Minnesota for the finals. The first, a Callahan to give Minnesota their second break, 
an enormous sky in the end zone, where he turns around and rifles this whole field hawk for a score. Arizona faced Colorado in the opposing semi. Colorado came out hard, seemingly to have shaken off any doubt from their play, left over from Saturday or Sunday. They would go up two breaks early in this game. But the Arizona defense was relentless. Sunburn showed a dynamic zone that forced long offensive points, and Colorado couldn't come up with an answer. The second half would be all Arizona as they punched in break after break. And a dropped pull in the closing points of the game would mean lights out for the Colorado squad. Jimmy Mickle tried to light a fire on the Colorado team, but there wasn't a spark to be found. Arizona wins it 14 to 9. The final matchup saw Southwest contender Arizona against the North Central Minnesota. Minnesota would come out strong, gluing down handler cuts that Arizona found easy all weekend. Minnesota would go big, and they would rarely get away from their hucks against a man defense. Great up goes up early two breaks. But again, the Arizona zone proved to be overwhelming, even for a very patient Minnesota offense. Minnesota often crowded the disc and tried to break it through, but could rarely find their wings for big yardage gains. Arizona would battle back, but Grey Duck would take half, up two breaks, 8-7. to seven. A tight rotation for Minnesota on O and D meant lots of synergy between the Grey Duck top five players, and Arizona kept their lines limited as well. However, having separate offensive and defensive squads kept the Sunburn roster fresh. In the end, Sunburn zone seemed unbeatable, and their cutters couldn't be harnessed. Spectacular play by captains Bryce Dixon and Sean Hamm would lead to the Arizona victory, 14 to 12. And that's a wrap for the Prez Day invite. This has been part of the 2013 Skyed College Tour, brought to you by Spin Ultimate.